I've always said in talking with members, there are valid arguments on both sides. This is a this is a bill and this is an issue that invokes a great deal of emotion, and I'm glad that it does. If it didn't, we would not all be taking our jobs seriously. I was talking to somebody and, and he was, I'm glad we got past some of the arguments. I've, I've said this often, when somebody says to me that, a, that an Article 5 convention would take away our, our Second Amendment, I immediately challenge them with, name me 20 states that would get rid of the Second Amendment much less 37. That's not a real argument. Frankly, if there's any real argument, the real argument is, are we too far gone? Are we so far gone? Are we so dependent upon overspending that we just don't care anymore as a nation? That we are okay that our next generation is picking up the bill for our excesses because that's what we have going on. I don't know what kind of America my grandchildren are going to grow up in, but I know unless we make changes, unless we do something about it, it won't be the same one I did. It'll be an America crippled in ever-increasing debt, run by an aristocracy, run by a Congress that chose... 70 years ago to cap their own size in the House of Representatives. We haven't even talked about that. Whether or not we have enough representation, which is why we need term limits on the federal level. Because we've made these districts so large, it's almost impossible for a regular person to run for and win Congress. You know, what, what I can't do, I, I see the issues, and some of the issues are legitimate. Some of the issues, the Second Amendment, I mean, there's just... There's no way. That's not legitimate. Some of them make sense. There are risks. I got a text from a friend, and we were talking about it, and what I had to decide and where I come down is the greatest risk is the risk of doing nothing because I know what that's going to get us. Doing nothing is going to get us $2 billion a day worth of debt that we've had since 2012. Doing nothing is going to get us sixty, seventy, a hundred thousand dollars per person per United States citizen in debt, because that's what doing nothing is getting us. Doing nothing is going to continue us on the road that we're on, which is not working. See, our framers at some point in time thought there may this time may come. There may be a time where the federal government has gotten too large and the states need to stand up. And they gave us Article 5. You know, when I took an oath to defend the Constitution, I didn't get to choose which parts I decided to defend. I'm proud to stand. I'm proud to vote in favor of this constitutional remedy that our framers gave us. And what I cannot abide and will not abide is doing nothing. One of the definitions of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Representative from Midwest City, I'm proud to stand with you and try this. And what I'm also proud is I want to be clear, the people that vote no are, are not my enemies, they're my friends. And I'm proud to stand with them if they have another idea that they want to try. But I serve up here at great personal sacrifice. I leave time with my wife and kids, just like all of you do with your families. And I simply will not come up here and deal nothing. That I cannot abide and will not do. I yield the remainder of my time to the representative from Midwest City.